Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm, uh, I'm just on my way home from uh, office. Quarter to five, stuck in traffic at Park Way. Story of my life. Story of my life. But what can you do? Some of our people that wear Ray Bans that I think they look like gimps. I'm an Oakley man myself. Who have we got here? Hello? How are you doing, Russ? John, I'm just in middle of filming. Can I call you back? Alright, pal. See you in a Make sure you answer this time. Alright, mate. Cheers. See you in a I can assure you don't want me going out for a, a beer with JD, it's a nightmare. You see, this is it, you see, on your mates ringing, they want to go out. It's got to swerve it, haven't you? I think I ain't got a bottle to say I don't want to go out. It's real, as men, we're creatures of habit, aren't we? You know what I mean? for that so but what can you do now the Anthony Yarday fight against Kovalev will it happen well it looks like it's gonna happen doesn't it but I'm a firm believer with anything like that where it's astronomical amounts of money and you've got a fighter who Yarday's fighting who is going off at rails all the time although you've got Spencer Fearon calling him a drunkard and that Look, Spencer Fearon he's just like he's a saint isn't he but it is what it is isn't it if it happens good luck will Yard beat him? I don't think Yard beats him no I don't think Anthony Yard beats uh, Kovalev at all, not this version of Kovalev. I just think it's an experience thing, I just don't think, I think when Kovalev beats him, I think everybody will turn around and say, well, he wasn't experienced enough, for it. I think that's what everybody will say, personally. But, you know, what can you do, it's just, uh, boxing's it's very subjective, isn't it? That's the word I'm looking for, subjective. I was looking for that earlier on today. Boxing is very, very sub subjective. And, uh, so, so, but what can you do? It's, uh, I just think that it's a good fight because we don't know what Kovalev's got left and is Yard ready to step up to the plate? So it's an intriguing fight. But Yarde is not going to knock the PR back off it, is he? He's going to get loads of PR off it. And that's basically it, really. But, uh, what time is it? I think, do you know what? No, I'll tell you what, I'm going to swerve it. I can't, can I? I've, got, I've bit my tip off my cue. I'm taking my cue now to have a tip put on it and have something sawed off back of it, just four inch. And uh, I'm gonna go treat my scent and have, have one made over ten months. Which is a long time, isn't it, to wait. But what are you doing, mate? You always get them on a Monday, don't I? So, but... One of them things in it, so I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna go get this sorted now. Look at that! Unbelievable. Uh, I'm gonna take my cue, get that sorted, go order a new one. 
That'll go down like a lead balloon, won't it? Me spending three and a half hundred quid on a queue I've got to wait ten months for. <laughs> How am I going to explain that one? Uh, but yeah, Will Yard AB Kovalev. Now I'm going to go for Kovalev. Although you've got to give Frank Warren respect for getting him the chance. He obviously thinks that Yarde is in there to win it, but who's Anthony Yard be? Forget the fact that people can make friends with Anthony Yard. Yeah, that's good. That's good if you can be a pals with somebody, but just because you're pals with somebody, doesn't mean you say the best thing since sliced bread, does it? Just think about it, Anthony Joshua does selfies with everybody. Every selfie that he does with somebody, they're going to go around telling, they're going to argue to the death that he is the best fighter in the world and he's better than Ali, better than Mike Tyson and he hits harder than George Foreman and Ernie Shavers put together. They're going to say he's an athlete, he's an Adonis, he's this, he's that. At the end of the day, he quit, didn't he? He quit in ring. A little chubby kid knocking him about. Look at him here giving it some in. And the old uh, caravan job. Jesus. But, uh, one of them things, innit? So, what can you do? But yeah, I'm gonna go get my queue sorted now. And, uh,. Go home and have a have my kids. Go we'll sit down and have a meal with my kids, family dinner. I'll see if anybody can get drowned in the dinner. But uh, so but, uh, I hope everybody's looking forward to uh, I hope everybody's looking forward to the uh, 31st of August, Luke Campbell, he's in a tough fight Luke, very tough fight, I hope he comes through it, I hope he really comes through it, but he's in a tough fight, uh, there's a few good fights on, Yui against Povetkin's a good fight, uh, Campbell, Lomachenko, Yui Povetkin. I don't know who else is on card. Uh, so. Hello, is that Mr. Hey? Hot Stig. How are you doing, Mr. Hot Stig? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm getting really, I'm, 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 I'm realising that this is like 30 years old. <laughs> you what, mate? I'm realising that I'm actually hot and uh, finding my feet in my living room. Yes, you, I'm good. You're realising that you're hot? <laughs> yes, mate. Yes. You're a character, Stig, aren't you? You're a character. Much more interesting than boxing, that's for sure. Right. I believe, Stig, that you have met somebody and it's the love of your life, am I correct? No, that's not true. I've met somebody, mate. I'm not in love. I'm not in love. Uh, I've met someone and I'm still in love with her. Uh, we're still in love. We're still in love. We're still in love. We're still in love. I've not even, there's been no contact whatsoever, no, 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 we, we were just, it's just crazy, we, we were at the phone for three hours, 21 minutes on Saturday, which ain't bad going, um, and then yeah, it was, I, I, I had to be walking around to meet, meet her, uh, last night, and I said, okay, I'll just leave it, you know, I'll, I'll just, and she apologised, and now I should be meeting her on Saturday, but we'll see what happens, mate, we'll see what happens. 
I've seen the photographs that you keep putting of her on Twitter. I mean, yeah, you're obviously yeah. joking. You don't, you don't want your girlfriend to be a ring card girl, do you? It was her idea, mate, on Saturday night. It was her suggestion, not mine. Yeah, but, you know, ring card girls, know, mate. mate. I wouldn't like, listen, you know, I don't think you want to know what ring card girls are, do you, mate? So listen, what I'm going to say to you, mate. If yeah. I met somebody and she were beautiful or whatever, I wouldn't want to be in a ring card girl, mate, at all. Well, I tell you what, mate, she is a very respectable, beautiful girl, but she's also into um, the kick competing in bikini competitions. She's, and she's a fitness uh, instructor, very high-end. She so, What do you mean, very high-end? What does that mean? Posh well, people and that. Listen to me, like, you're putting pictures of a girl that you're dating all over the internet and she's got a yeah. pair of knickers on and stuff like that. What's all that about? Well, because they're, they're, they are some photos that she's taken. Does she know yeah. about this, that you put these photos of her all over the place, yeah? Yeah. And she ain't got a problem with it now? No. All right. That's, oh, really? She, she, she's done the same, mate. She's done the same. This is what she... Crazy mate, but what? This, uh, the ring card. The, listen, I'm not going to bother Dennis with that. But you've already tweeted Dennis's name yeah. into a tweet, aren't you? Asking about well, why would you do that? Why couldn't you just keep something like that personal? Because you're going to leave yourself open to all your fan club on Twitter, and they're yeah. just going to stick it to you, aren't they? You're just inviting trouble, aren't you? You've got to have something more in your life than battling with trolls all day, though, aren't you? I have actually, at the moment, finding an amazing woman in my life. Well, look, you're a cabbie, aren't you? You work a lot of hours and you've met a girl who works in a gym and she teaches people how to keep fit, aren't you? That's basically it. You're both 50 odd year old, aren't you? She's in She's in demand. Well, that's you're going to make time for you if you work seven days. <laughs> that laugh of yours, mate, is quite. <laughs> it's mad that laugh of yours, mate. Well, it's because I'm happy, mate. We'll sort it out, mate. It is what it's meant to be. I'm happy. I'm cool, mate. I mean. Twitter. 
And the thing is, mate, I only ever went on Twitter in an attempt to help the Furies deal with these people that say these vile... You, hang on a minute, so you, you, you joined Twitter about four years, three years ago to help the Furies? To try, to try and help them, yeah, deal with all these right. people that make vile... So, yeah, so, well, did they ask you to do that or did no, you just I'm take it upon yourself to do it? No, I So basically, uh, yeah. you're, you're, you're and, and and obviously, have you have you met Tyson yet? Did you meet him? I've met, I've met Tyson about three times, yeah. yeah. Three times, were at boxing shows. Yeah. Um, I'm you, not, sorry, I've, yeah, I've met him twice. Uh, one at one, twice at one place, and once we shook hands. I heard you give Peter a lift, didn't you, in London for free? I did, actually. Now you're going to complain about me not doing it for you for free, Well, I mean, you've been to two of my shows, and you've been guests, and you've been VIP'd, and then you, you, you wanted 180 quid for me to drive a 16 mile. Mate, you, 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 what you wanted was a lot. It's not how long it took you to get out of that. I didn't say, I was 120 anyway, mate, and that was a bargain. You 80 you said to me, because I offered you 80 quid, didn't I? In the end, I drove it myself, and it cost me no. But like I said, it was pretty stressful <laughs> driving, driving. You can go in them lanes, can't you, as a cabbie? You, you can go a shortcut route, can't you? And I said, I hope you were going to go to my flat, but you need to the Peacock gym and back to my flat. I said, 120 quid. No, I am a meter, mate, alone, would it be 60 quid? I'm telling you that now. I know it was. I've done the job. Listen, mate. Listen, Stig. It's logged in my memory, that, mate. It's logged in my memory that you couldn't do me a favour. If, I, if you were a guest in my town, you get looked after. Ask Terry and Rico when they come and see me. But, you know, everybody's different, aren't they, Stig? So we'll move on from that. Tyson Fury's next opponent. Who's he fighting? You know, mate, I can't even remember his name. You mean you've not heard about him? I've heard about it. I've seen the tweet. What do you think about him as an opponent? What do you think, though, to Tyson Fury fighting people charging £20 on pay-per-view to fight knockovers? What do you think to that, as a fan? Because well, you're a fan, aren't you, as well? Of course I'm a fan. Yeah. I, mean, I, I haven't even got any pay-per-view. I've got, I have personally, if I had, I would have been charging some, some facility to watch it in my flat, I would buy it and watch it. Alright then, Stig, so you're not going to watch it on pay-per-view then? I haven't got any facility to do that yeah, in my flat. Now that I'm not going to watch it, now that I'm not going to watch it, I can't pay for it. I'm not going to do that. Right, yeah, but Stig, are you going to be watching it on pay-per-view? Yeah, but Stig, aren't you uh, one of the main uh, people on Fury Power? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, but, yeah. You're not going to pay 20 quid for your hero, Tyson. And you're a Fury Power member. I don't know, what are you coming? I am Fury Power, mate. I'm not a member, but I am Fury Power. Are you going to be changing it soon to Stick Power? You mean Stick Power now, don't you? Oh, is it Stick Power now? Yeah. Fucking hell, you're scaring me with all this power talk. Right, Stig. No, no, I'm just Porky's Corner, mate. We're Porky's Corner and we're powering forward, mate, at the moment. We're doing really good. You've got to put, if you put the effort in, Stig, right? If you put the effort in and start a YouTube channel, you've got to see it through them, like, them first 18 months or so. And you're going to have a bumpy ride, and it, you know, it, you, you've got to find your way and learn on the job. Uh, but that's what you have to do, pal. And what it is, right? Yeah, you have to find your way 
and plod forward but personally my own opinion is this Tyson Fury went out to America saying he was going to take over at America and show and show the Brits show the Americans that us Brits are not frightened of anybody and he fought Deontay didn't he and he yeah. did well but he drew got dropped twice we're not going to go over that because we're going over all ground since then He's fought a German and he's now uh, and now he's fa now fighting a Swedish guy. So I don't really get it where he's coming from. I don't get it, mate, at all. Yeah, but that's because you're a boxing fan and not a boxer or a fighter. The Tyson's business is very, very simple. It is about staying in shape and doing and fighting the people that are put in front of him. That's his fact. That are put in front of him, he signs off on them though, doesn't he? He's the one who has the last say. Yeah, but they would have a bit, there would be a, there would be, I'm, I would be fairly confident there was more than one opponent that he could have chosen. From the people that right, listen to me, right, listen to me. Are you telling me that Tyson Fury doesn't go on box rec at night and look and look at all the top guys and think, he'd be a good fight for me, he'd be a good fight for me, because they all do it, mate, let me tell you. And if he didn't, he would be a liar. He's looking yeah, for cool. somebody that he can get a good wage off and who they could sort of uh, get it across the line as a pay-per-view without getting hurt too much. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't no. tell me that you're the Neil champion of the world and you're fighting you? Tom Swartz and Otto Wallin. I don't want to hear it, mate. How can you? Because if this this imaginary belt that you're fucking going on about, excuse my swearing, but what sort of sanctioning body would give them a title shot? They're not, they're not worthy, are they? Until he is worthy, because he beat Brad. He is worthy, because, in your opinion, we're not going to cover off Listen, mate. Now, and now, and then, we're both, come on, mate. In your opinion, in your opinion, who won the fight between Deontay and Tyson? I thought Tyson could have nicked it by a round, but I can see a draw. All right, okay, but you're prepared to say that Tyson won that fight? You know, I'm prepared to say, if you turn the volume down, I had it a draw, mate. But if you put the volume up, you'd think he'd won by five rounds, according to John Rawlings and Barry hanging out at the back of Tyson's arse, Jones, because they're employed by BT Sport. But what you're forgetting is this. Tyson Fury was mandatory for four years at four different governing bodies, right, when he was with Mick Hennessy for Vladimir. But they waited, sorry, three different governing bodies, but they waited and waited and waited until they got Vladimir at the right time when they were on the slide. That's a fact. He's not put himself in danger apart from one fight and that were Wilder. And if truth be known, he, only, he had to take the Wilder fight because Frank Warren and the people around Frank were saying, Frank, if you can't get Pianetta out of there, Frank, what's going on here? So they had to take that fight with Wilder. And Tyson performed on the night, he took it, but he got dropped twice, mate. Now that's the Neil. When you get dropped twice in a fight, how many times do you win it? If you get dropped twice, Bernard Hopkins fought John Pascal, he got dropped twice. But yeah, he didn't win the fight, he would have draw. And I thought that Tyson's were a draw, stroke win for Tyson, but everybody got carried away on emotion because of all this weight he's lost. I mean, to hear the story now, they're saying he's lost 11 and a half stone. It were really, it were eight stone, mate. It's, he lost eight stone. You've heard him say he were 27, he's 19, so that's eight. He's not 10, it's not 11 and a half. The myth's getting bigger. I'm fed up for hearing it. I wonder, but, but, but I stop being fed up, he doesn't, at the end of the day, Russ, what he has achieved in the turnaround in his life is inspiring and impressive. That's the end of it, mate. What, what's inspiring about it? What, about a man taking drugs and coming off drugs? He's not been to prison. He's not had any adversity. Before he came back, he were worth five million. So it's not like he were in poor house, is it? Adversity is when you've got nothing and you've been in prison. That's adversity, which is what I've had myself. And I've been a drug addict longer than Tyson were, but we're not talking about any mass adversity, are we? Five million quid in bank. 
No, listen, 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 forget me, it's not about me. We're on about Tyson here. We're on about Tyson Fury. What he's done, yeah, he's done all right. He's lost a bit of weight, that's it. He's worth millions. And he knew if he lost the weight, he was going to get millions anyway. So don't give me all this about he's, he, he's done this and done that. He's not had much adversity. He's lost, he's lost some weight, which is what he's done all his career. The heaviest he was, the heaviest he weighed when Peter took weight off him, he was 26 stone 6. So he's saying he was 27 stone, he's only 8 pound heavier than what he weighed when Peter had him. So it's, well, it's, it's not nothing he'd not done before, is it? Come on. No, because life. obviously he's living the life, isn't he, mate? That's what yes. he's doing now, he's living that's the life. Oh, is that what Fury Power's all about? Is that what you... Why yes. you oh, right. Yes. It's about getting up and going and being determined and living your life. Is that what it is, Stig? Fury Power. Well, yeah, I'm not, you stop me using Fury Power, but yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. Right, well, listen, let, give me two minutes, let me give me, give me two minutes, and I'll call you back. I've just got to nip into this house. Two seconds, yeah? Well, that wasn't too bad. David Bowen Cues in Wadduff, Doncaster. He does cues for all top players. Dennis, I've got your hat. I know you give me one, but I've walked out with yours on today and mine were in my bag, so I do apologise. Right, Stig. Stig power. Oops. Yes. Stig just won't have it, will he, about Tyson Fury? He won't have it about Tyson. He just thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread, doesn't he? He's waving to me. Hey, up, Stig. Yeah, I'm okay. I've just been to a place called David Bowen Q's. I've been to his cottage in Wadduff and he uh, he's doing me a queue. He's making a few alterations to my queue, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how I go with that, and I'm gonna have one made at about 350 to 400 quid. It's not cheap, and I've been some, I've been mulling about for ages, but I thought, why not? You treat yourself, don't you? I mean, I'm 50 year old next year, and every October I usually treat myself with something nice, you know, whether it's a watch or some or a car. This year, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not as loaded this year. I'm just gonna get myself a queue. Sometimes you just got to watch your pennies, aren't you, mate? Yeah, what, what, the cue that he's doing some alterations on, right? Yeah, he's just taking four inch off mine. He's taking four inch off, and then it'll be easy to use. And then I'm, I'm going to, uh, 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 he's putting a tip on for me, a blue diamond tip. And I like it spongy, the tip. I just think you get more reaction from cue ball if, you, if it's spongy. And uh, rather than a hard tip shaped into a dome, I, d I think if you're trying to do screw back shots and reverse screw shots, you can just end up lifting cue ball off a table all the time and you can't always get it right. And I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist with anything, anything, I like things to be done correctly. And so, but what I'm going to do when he's done that cue, I'll go probably pay him 30, 40 quid or something what he wants. And then I'm going to see how that goes. And then I'm going to order, uh, going to treat myself, I think. It's only a 50 quid deposit and then you've got 10 months to pay it rest, don't you? pay it in one go. It ain't like you're just losing a lump of money. It's, it's the fact that transport, in a, in a, if you, I've got a coupe, Anna, so a, a one-piece queue is going to be a bit awkward, isn't it, to travel about with. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it, so they get damaged, don't they, queues and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. it's just something I've always wanted. That my, I had a chat with my dad about it because he's a serious snooker player and he... He said to me, eh, queue's a queue as long as it's got a good tip on it and weights, right? Yeah, I see where he's coming from, but I don't believe in that. I had a go with somebody's queue that were a fortune. 
and uh, I had to go with Nicola's queue because she's got a, a, a slate bed snooker table at home, Nicola, at her place, and I had to go on her table, and she's got a queue, she was having snooker lessons as a 16 year old Nicola, and she, she gave me, a, I played with her queue, and I thought it would just, I beat her on her own table, I think it was pool we played though, that day, we put pool balls on, but it was, uh, it, would, it, it just felt different playing with a good Q stick, are you with me? Yeah, so Russ, okay, how much did the Q that you've got now cost you? 60 quid I think, or something like that, around right about 60-ish. Might have even been 45 or something in sale. I only had it, I've only had it a, a, a month or something. I, I, I think it was 40 odd or 50, something like that. And I think I bought, go on, sorry. Has Nicola got a full size table in her house? She's got a, I'm not sure if it's a 10 footer or something, I'm not sure, or 9 foot, something like that. I think it's a 9 okay. footer. 3 quarter I think it is. It's nice, like, okay. yeah. Yeah, there's a three quarter one that I play on up at uh, Snooker Club up here, I go on there. Because this is how I look at it, I, I prefer to play pool down a bit. If you're playing pool, go to serious pool for money and stuff like that on 6 by 3 table, well if you're potting on an, on an 8 by 4, you're, gonna, you're not going to miss on a 6 by 3 are you? But I also play on a 12 by 6 as well on my own, but it's easy setting them up on your own. It's a bit different when you're in a game at snooker because they're going to make it difficult for you, aren't they? But that's the challenge that I suppose I like. It's like being in a puzzle, isn't it? But I, I could just lose myself on the snooker table for two or three hours, but I'd be grudge paying £6.90 an hour to do it. What's your highest break? Oh, what, on a, what, you mean in a game? Or actually oh, setting no. balls upon my own? No. Both, oh, probably 40 odd in a game, but setting balls upon my own, I've had pff, eight reds and eight colours. Do you know what I mean? That's like 16 shots without missing, isn't it, on a full size. But I've always had gaps in between when I've played. Do you see where I'm coming from? Uh, I always go for impossible shots, I'm always trying different stuff. But there's always been gaps where I've been in prison and things like that, but last yeah, yeah last yeah but obviously I've been out for a long time now and I'm starting to yeah. do more constructive things with my time and last yeah, year I spent continue. yeah yeah well yeah last year I spent uh, I was spending a lot of time playing but now I found this place that's open 12 while free it's a pub and there's a table there and nobody goes on it and you only put money in for light so that's brilliant it'd be like a quid an hour Whereas, why and am I far, spending, eh? Hey? How far is that from your place, right? About three mile, three and a half mile. But this one I got to is about, I don't know, eight mile. And it's it's uh, farther away. The people in there are a bit aloof, I think. And it's £6.90 an hour, seven, stunt short of seven quid an hour. And I, and I can do, I can spend 25 quid in there on my own. Now, if you go in there three times a week, and you're doing that for a month, it's like having a it's like having a little mortgage, it's like having another another mortgage, isn't it? Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Another three hundred quid on top of what So I'm thinking, God, it's not cheap, is it? It's like golf, isn't it? That's not cheap yeah. golf and that's another concentration sport. But it's just some of that I've, I'm starting to take up to go, go pay more attention to. And if you're playing golf you won't want to play with an old uh, with an old queue, would you? An old old club, would you? You'd want to... Do you, do you know where I'm coming from? You'd want to play with a decent stick, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know course, I mean? yeah, I mean, yeah. But yeah. other than that, uh, how, how do you think this Saudi thing is going to go, Stig? This Saudi Arabian thing? What, for you? No, we've... We're, no, Anthony Joshua against Ruiz. Do you think that's going to happen? Well, I think that's a good lead, mate. I mean, it's, um, it's, 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 it's a nice thing in Saudi Arabia, I mean, yeah. Saudi Arabia, yeah. But I think, I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me, but I do think Anthony's lose. And uh, a certain doubt the shy has got off his career, and then he can't spin it, quite. He can't spin it at all, can he? Struggle. So, um, yeah. No, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, mate. I have taken a great deal of interest for the last three months. Now. I do apologise, mate. 
So you've you've turned into a casual, have you, Stig? Well, you always said I was a casual anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a bit of a casual, aren't you? Well, I've always been very, very focused, and I'm confident that when I look at them, I'm looking at quality. I can see the talent, I can see the class, I can feel the nobility of spirit within them, and I'm happy to back it. I've got no problem with that at all. Yeah. I back them. I just want to back them. I, I enjoy backing them. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you think... Yeah. Do you think that uh, Anthony Joshua is going to beat Ruiz in rematch? Uh, well, he might do. I, I, I'm a neutral attention, mate, in truth. He might do, but he's got to change things, hasn't he? He can't come in and do what he did last time, can he? No. He'll be done. Yeah. He's got to get the same thing, hasn't he? He needs to change your heart. I think he was shocked. He, he didn't expect what happened. He's going to have to change things, mate. If he's changed things, he may well beat him. But I do. I would probably. I think I'd favour Andy to win it, win it again. Actually, and I think that will pop that. At that point, I would think Anthony would retire. But good luck to him. He's done extremely well at tightening his feet, in my view. Mm. Say hello to my mate, Carl. Stig, say hello. Oh, oh, hi John. Stig from uh, Surrey. The Stiganator, how are you doing? Yeah, you busy? Yeah. I just finished off here and I'll come in and see you. Just yeah? finished this filming and I'll come and see you. Alright. You are Stig, you were saying? Uh, I was just saying hi to Carl. Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I've been to the square, that's where I'm calling you from. You're calling me from where? Odington Square. Oh, sorry, Oldrow Square, actually. Oldrow Square, just by South Kensington Station. Oh, brilliant. I right. can imagine a house here would cost you at least, oh, I can't imagine, so many millions, so it's not even worth thinking about. <laughs> a one bedroom flat here would cost you a million at least. What do, <laughs> what do you think, what What do you think, Stig, to, uh, uh, what they call it, what's his name now? Dillian White situation with the B sample. And, well, uh, I, think, I, I think the whole situation is a shame, for, uh, it's a great shame for uh, Mark and Jimmy Tibbs because I'm confident that neither of those two would ever be involved in any uh, performance in enhancing in in drugs. I really don't have an opinion on it, mate. I, I they never have, there. they never have, mate. They've, they've never had anybody test, test like that. So no, they're old no, school, I, aren't they? Uh, absolutely. I mean, they, they are, it's, it's an area that they would never, ever contemplate getting involved in, let alone actually getting involved in. Um, I, 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 certainly, I can't say the same for Dillian. I really don't know, mate. I don't know a great deal about Dillian. And I, I, what can I say? I mean, I think it's a mess, the whole situation. And, and you know, it's, it's being dragged out and it really does need to be, you know, drawn to a conclusion and ended, really. But it's just dragging on, isn't it, really? It's just what? Dragging on. Unnecessarily, in my Yeah, well, it's been a month, hasn't it? The day after tomorrow's a month gone, isn't it? By. Yeah, I mean, how, how, how difficult can it be to test the B sample? You know? Well, well, well the, the B sample, they told that he tested on the 17th, didn't he? They told him on the 17th, didn't they, right? So, what? what right. Or, or, the, or the test were on the 17th or something, wasn't it? So, we're talking. 14 days left in July, and what are we on today? 12th of August. So, right. 26 and days. Have, and we still don't know what the result was? No, I mean, and, and don't forget it works both ways. If Dillian White's innocent, if he was screaming it from the rafters that he was innocent, he would be fuming now and wanting that B sample coming back. But if he's got yeah. something to hide, they're going to want it just to drag on and on and on and on and on, and on aren't you? And it's going to yeah. end up like a Tyson Fury and Andrelon one we, we didn't know about, did we? And he fought Hamer, didn't he? And is the, yeah. is the Hamer one and no contest? Well, they, they said, as a part of the agreement that was come to, the compromise, after, eventually, they said it would be removed from the Hamer contest. Understand it, that, that fight is still in existence on Boxwick, it hasn't been removed. Yeah, but you, that's only because the people who run Boxwick are, uh, the, 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 well, the, they're in with promoters, aren't they, and things like that. He's not going to want a blemish on his record, is he? Well, I don't know, mate. I mean, I, 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 I,
Now he's yeah, got a draw on his one. As far as I'm concerned, he hasn't got any blemishes on his record, so I'm cool with that. Ryan T, oh, you're talking about the draw, but you're seeing him won. I don't think it was a draw, no. What about the John McDermott yeah. fight where every, all the experts said he got beaten that, didn't they? Well, the, the, Is that going to go down as an L on his record and a, as a blemish? No, it's not, because he, the, the Tyson went away, he had two more fights, came back and stopped John. He did the honourable thing, mate. You can't say that you're going to win the fight. John didn't beat him twice because he stopped John the second time. So yeah. I've got no problem with the John McDermott fight. Mean, what about, about no, the first, the first John McDermott fight we're on yeah, about. We're not on about the second yeah, one where he stopped him. Well, all the experts, yeah, but the, the ex, they were inquiry into it and people booed them, and, didn't they, and complained yeah, and all that. And that's why the re... Because in that fight, the first fight with John McDermott, there was no judges. The referee was also the judge. And the referee gave the fight to Tyson. The second fight, there were three judges. But Tyson stopped him. If Tyson hadn't rematched John, I'd have a problem. But he did rematch him. Now, I... I I think John McDermott is a genuinely tough, good fighter. He's a bit like Andy Ruiz, isn't he, in some ways? He doesn't look great, but he ain't too bad. He's quite handy. Now, let's not forget, he went the distance with Danny Williams after, or was it before? After, I think, Danny Williams knocked out Mike Tyson. Who did? I mean, um, John McDermott. John, Danny Williams, Danny, Mike Tyson were a shadow of himself when he fought Danny Williams. Yeah, Danny Williams. yeah but whatever, mate. It, it was still, I, I'm, not, I'm not comparing John McDermott to Mike Tyson. I'm not doing that. But John McDermott wasn't a bad fighter. Yeah, but he might be. John McDermott won before the, apart, it was Tyson's second hardest fight. His hardest fight now is Deontay, in my but John McDermott, up until Deontay, was Tyson's hardest fight. The first fight. That's my view. I think Tyson didn't expect what happened in that fight, and he struggled. And he was all a bit of a shock to him emotionally. He was struggling during the fight. But the second fight, if he hadn't rematched him, mate, I'd have a problem. But he did rematch him, so I've got no problem with the first fight. I really haven't, mate. No. I mean, no. what, what more could a man do? He was still a young man. He rematched him. I think it was nine months later. And he stopped him. So, if he hadn't stepped up and he hadn't fought him again, I, I, I'd have, there'd be a problem that emotionally I wouldn't be able to ignore. But because he rematched him, I'm cool with that whole situation. It's not a hey. problem. Hey. All right then, mate. I'll wait here for you. All right. Yeah, well, I just, I look at it like this. John McDermott beat Tyson first time, he didn't get the decision, did he? But Tyson okay. iced him in the second one, didn't he? So, he, yeah. he corrected it, didn't he? Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm, it wasn't Tyson's best performance, he struggled in that fight, the referee gave him his decision. I mean, you're going with the draw, aren't you, with Beyonce? I mean, you can't have it both ways, mate. Well, you're not going with the draw. You you, 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 you keep on going about Tyson, all about Tyson drawing with the... Oh, no, I said I thought he'd win it. I won it, he won by a round, but the, in the record books it says draw. But you yeah, were but saying, no, it's a win. Well, I'm saying, well, if you want to do that and say that's a win, I'm going to say the McDermott one is a loss. If you want to do well, that, the record yeah. books is the record books. Now, when anything yeah. like that happens, okay. what you do, you rematch that person, don't you, and you put it right. Yeah. Absolutely. Now Tyson's getting on for a year now since he fought yeah. Wilder. After he fights Wallin, it'll be a year since the Wilder fight, and we were promised that fight early, yeah. early nineteen, then autumn nineteen. It's not I'm happening this year. To... This year, it's not happened. I'm looking forward to the. There, there will, at some stage, be a rematch with Deontay. Do you and think? I'm looking forward to it, mate. Well, I don't yeah, think yeah. the will. I don't think the will stick. Well, okay. I don't think there will. I hope there is. Uh, I hope there is. But for some reason, I just think that he just there's something going on behind scenes, and they're not going to put him near danger. Not when he's getting mega money, and he's getting mega money for fighting people yeah, that he can beat easily. Good luck to him. <laughs> I've not got a problem with it, mate. So that's how that I look at it. That, that, that's 
that's his che- that's that's Bob Aaron's and Frank Warren, Warren's business. And if they're if they're happy with it, that's fine by me. It's Tyson's job to stay in shape between fights. He's doing that, mate. That's all he's got to do. That's all he ever had to do. Yeah. If, 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 if people are happy to pay him for doing what he's doing in the ring, that's their business. It's none of my business, mate. I'm cool with it. I, I'm not gonna. I'm happy for him. It's great. It was only ever, my only ever concern for Tyson Fury was the way he was when he wasn't in the ring. I don't think Tyson... Fought, so are you, are you, are you saying, are you saying now then that Tyson is, is in a good place and he's doing all right yeah. and you're happy for him, yeah? Yeah, I am, absolutely. So yeah, you don't need to be putting all them cringeworthy things out on Twitter all the time about him <laughs> then, do you? And clogging my timeline up, do you? Well, I, I mean, I, I, I do very little on Twitter now, mate. At the moment, I do very little. Because Stig, all the you stuff. don't do a lot on Twitter. Well, let me tell you this, right? I would just been up at I've been up at my office up at Dennis's today, and let me tell you this: if I were to look on here now at some of this stuff on here, mate, there's yeah. you've been putting yeah. pictures of your new girlfriend, who, yeah. who's got who obviously it, she Can looks all right, doesn't she? She's a nice looking girl, isn't she? Yes, You've been putting pictures mate. of her. We we she stood in high heels, with a yeah. bum stuck in air with a thong on. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Stick that's <laughs> rude. That, that's rude, that man. Honestly, you you. I bet you're one of them people that goes to nightclubs and you lay under table, aren't you? Looking up, aren't no, you? <laughs> I, I, no, no, mate. I only. I I. No, mate. I I I only do anything like that. In the privacy of my own. Yeah, but Stig, if she's going to be your girlfriend, you're putting pictures of her on social media. Mate, they're already out there on her, what, what she does. I'm not doing anything new, mate, at all. All right, then. Well, that's up to you, innit, Stig? But it's not for me, I mean, I, not. Yeah, no, she, she's, a lot, she's a lot to handle. I think I can handle it. If I get the chance... I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Stig, that's not very nice to say. No, I, I'm talking emotionally, mate. I'm not being, I'm not being literal. This is right. a, I think I can handle her. I can handle the relationship with her. I'd certainly like to try it and find out, and I'm working on that at the moment. <laughs> um, right, right. It started, mate. How far it goes, time will tell. All right. All right, then. Well, listen. I've got work to do now, so I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna keep an eye on people. So listen, you can take care, you? and I will can speak. I to you what, mate? Can I say one go on, can yeah, I you can say. Go on then. Love ya. All right, then, mate. <laughs> you take care, Stig. You're the card, aren't you? Cheers, mate. You take care. Bye, bye, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, right. bye. That was the uh, Stig, aka Philip Sims. From uh, Surrey, it's a bit snobby where he lives. He actually lives uh, uh, about 20 yards away from Jimmy White, the snooker player. And he's been getting me an interview with Jimmy White for six months. I'm still waiting. But, uh, but yeah, so. I hope you've enjoyed it. It would have been nice to talk about some boxing. Uh, two seconds, let me just get some paper out of boots. I did jot a couple of things down because I don't want this video just to be Stig talking about his uh, latest hot chick that he's pulled because he does pull them, I'll give him his jewels, he does pull them. In fact, we're thinking about changing his name to uh, Mr. Puller. Uh, is Ruiz favourite to win? Yeah. Money, everyone's getting paid. Yeah, Joshua's got a lot of people with a mouse to feed. Saudi Arabia, is it a cash out? Yeah. Yui Fury against JJ for all the belts if he beats Ruiz. Yeah, I can see that happening. Dave Allen inserts for both his videos, yeah, we'll sort that. Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Joe Saunders, that rate, and Yarday. Yarday and Kovalev, I'll believe it when they go in the ring. 
was a lot of time, two week is a lot of time in boxing. Billy Joe Saunders to Eddie Hearn, if it's true, and I think it is. Good luck to Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, I think Eddie Hearn can make him into a superstar. Billy Joe Saunders needs help with his profile, and plus, he is a super skilled kid, isn't he? Forget that he carries on hard at ring, and he's a naughty, he's like one of them naughty kids that you get at school, isn't he? Um, that's just how he is. Can he fight? Oh yeah, he can fight. Super skilled. I like to see him take people out instead of playing with them and you know that kind of thing. Because he does tend to play with people, doesn't he? And just schools them. So yeah, the B sample. We spoke about the B sample, haven't we? That's that's now a month. By the time this video goes out, it's a month since since that. 17th of July. So. Then you've got uh, the glove situation. If that's true about the gloves that Russ Amber's going on about with Oscar Rivers' trainer and things like that, I think that's bad. Uh, and why did they take the gloves off white without them inspecting them after the fight? There's an issue with that. Spencer Fearon coming out with the Oscar Rivers thing. We know about that. That's bad. Uh, PEDs, managers, trainers, promoters, TV, moral high ground. I think what what I was trying to make point I'm trying to make about this is managers are always should have a pact, whereas they don't they don't manage people that have been done for PEDs. Trainers shouldn't train people, promoters shouldn't promote them, and TV companies shouldn't have anything to do with guys that have failed tests. But there'd be nobody left to fight, would there? Six of my top ten have, have got question marks against them for drugs and only Miller's admitting it. The other five are going not guilty. So... Eddie Hearn can't take the moral high ground, can he really? In my opinion. He can't do. He can't take the moral high ground and then go putting on Yui Fury against Povetkin because there's a question mark about that with Yui. Peter can say that what he said about it, but we saw the statement from you, Carter, didn't we? So it is what it is, isn't it? It's hard to speak about it when it's people you know, but the facts are the facts, aren't they? You and Tyson got done, didn't they? Uh, that'll go down like a lead balloon, but we're stating facts. Amateur to PED cheats. Uh, yeah, kids turn pro, don't they? They've been amateur, they're all fresh faced, and it's all great. Then they turn pro, and all of a sudden they end up PED cheats. What happens along the way? I'll tell you what happens along the way. Fighters tend to meet these shady characters that slide into boxing, and they want to get paid out of job, and to get paid, they feel that their fighter has to take something. This is what I think. I think it's been going on for long enough now. Will we see a death in the ring? Will we see a death in the ring and the guy testing for positive testing for peds after bodies on slab i think that's that'll happen and i think that's what will kill boxing off i think they'll shut it all down especially if it happens in in england they'll shut it down they nearly shut it down years ago for example, Eddie Hearn going on about drugs, etc, etc, he's just made Yui Povetkin, we spoke about that. He's had Brown versus White on, and he, they've both been done. He's had James Tony on a, on a prize fighter. He tried to sign Tyson Fury, he had the Kenny Anderson, Robin Reed fight. Kenny Anderson tested positive, didn't he? But Robin Reed never got to know for months and months later. And... Uh, We've obviously had the Jarrell Miller situation. Is Eddie Hearn just paying people lip service when he's interviewed about PEDs? Because in one breath he's slating Jarrell Miller, and then in the next breath he's signing people. Billy Joe Saunders. Eddie Hearn moved to get Billy Joe Saunders stripped, didn't he? So Billy had to vacate in end to keep his position up so he could go for the... W168 pound belt, so he vacated and still got a belt in another weight division. But Eddie Hearn was the one behind it, saying he's a drug cheat and blah de blah. Then Eddie Hearn goes and signs Billy Joe Saunders, if that's true. So what is Eddie? Hearn? What does that make Eddie Hearn? 
It makes him a hypocrite, doesn't it? Do trainers, managers, promoters, TV give a hoot about cheats? Do they? Does Adam Smith, is he bothered about drug cheats? Well, no, because how many have they got on the books? Pavetkin, Yui, Billy Joe Saunders, if it's true. That's three there. Dillian White, four. He's still there. I know he, Dillian White's went over the counter thing, but still banned substance. Nothing will change until we have a death. Adam Smith. Is Adam Smith knee deep in all this? Of course he's knee deep in it all. He's had a sky boxing. He's knee deep in the lot of it. And he's not come out and made one statement regarding Dillian White. Do you know why? They're all hoping it's going to go away. They pushed Eddie Earn out. Well, they're hoping it's all going to go away. Nobody's saying anything. And people can keep making death threats to me. They can keep making death threats to me. And they can... They can keep... Uh, threatening me, sending emails, doing what you want. I will always do what I want to do. I always have done, I always will do. You're making your bed, you're lying it. What will be, will be. You know, I've, I've faced a lot more adversity in my life than trolls. Over what? What are people going to do? Come and put a bullet in my head over an opinion in boxing that, well, he's took some, he ain't took some, he beats him and he loses to him. Bring it. Come and do what you want. It's laughable, but... Biggest compliment you can pay me is threatening me over... Biggest compliment you can pay me is... I'm living rent free in your head if you're going to threaten me over something I've said on my channel. So, it is what it is, isn't it? But like I've just said to you, Adam Smith is knee deep in all this at Sky. And he has not come out and said a word. Not a word. Now, I'm hoping that some of these people now are going to actually say something to Adam Smith regarding this B sample. I want him to say something. I want you Rob Tebbets, Coogan Cassius, Michelle Phelps. We call them the Three Musketeers in Sheffield. They've all got the platforms. I want them to, an access. I want to see. I want to see these people grilled. Where's this B sample? Very convenient that it's been missing a month, isn't it? But yet Yarrow Miller's B sample. They got that one quick, didn't they? Hey, Yarrow Miller's one were very quick. Now, Saudi Arabia Ruiz two. What about a UK? What about the expense for the UK fans? We know all about that. We've covered the Kovalev Yarde fight. Will it happen? I believe it when I see it. I hope it does happen. The $40 million site fee, that's going to be, that'll pay Eddie Earns fighter, Joshua, and it'll pay Ruiz. The, the rest of the gate money, the commercial money, the international money off 158 countries worldwide, that will. Uh, well, the TV international money will pay the undercard. The pay-per-view, that will go to Sky and Eddie Earn and the gate. And the com uh, and commercial money. God. God knows where that will go. That might keep Barry Earn in Stella for the next six months. Uh, snooker Q, oh, I've done that one, haven't I? It's my list for today. I make a list every night before the next day. Nicola had me do this. It's called organisation, isn't it? Accountants by name, accountant by nature. Pay per view, international TV money, pay per view box office, gate money, commercial money. That's it. We all know who's going to get all that, don't we? It'd be Eddie Earn, won't it? Will the Saudi fight happen? I'm going to say no. Will Tyson Fury Wilder happen? I'm going to say no. Everybody said spring 19 and then they said autumn 19. Well, this year's gone. And then we've got next year and Wilder will have more mandatories. Uh, will the yard fight happen? I'll believe it when they're in the ring. I'd like to see yard ice him though. Wilder Fury rematch 2019, autumn. Nope. Saunders versus Canelo or Triple G? Nope. We've had four years. 
a Billy Joe Saunders fighting nobody. Eddie Hearn will have him fight somebody. I'd like to see him fight John Ryder, something like that, or Eubank, or any of them, any of them boys, John Ryder, Eubank. Uh, I'd just like to see him just fight somebody and get a big fight, because I think that there's nothing in life that's worse than wasted, wasted talent. That's the worst thing in life, wasted, wasted talent. Let me just put this in my bag for a second. Well, top's that rugby. Hit it, Joe. Look at that, people going chippy on a Monday. Jesus. So, I'm going to pull that there on so, yeah, so basically, this is how, this is how I see it, right, this is how, let's, let's turn around here now, this is how I see it happening, I see the B sample being dragged out, I see nobody from boxing, YouTubers, and media people, Gareth A. Davis, Coogan, Michelle Phelps, Rob Tebbert, that Andy guy, is it who works at Boxing Social, I think he's the best one out there. Coogan's very good, very patient, but these lads here have got commitments, and Michelle Phelps, they've probably got commitments and bills to pay. So, they're not going to rock the boat, are they? And I can understand that, but I'd like to see him come out and say that, because we know how cold Eddie Earn can be if you put him on the spot, don't we? And if Eddie Earn were to drop any of them, God, what would happen to their lives? They'd have no access, would they? And if you've got no access, what are you going to do if you've got no access? So, that used to be as to that. Not here now. First supermarket in the 70s, wasn't it? But, uh, I feel like going for a pint, man. I feel like going for a pint. Top club. No, I'll swerve it. I'll swerve it. I'm gonna go. One pint leads to another, doesn't it? Shall I go? No. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. Boredom, innit? Boredom. Where's he going in there? So, peace out then, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Right, that's me done for today now. I'll get done what I've got to get done and plod on. So. Uh, what what we're gonna say then? Oh yeah, don't forget like and subscribe for all those who aren't subscribed. If you subscribe, what happens is you get your porky video straight to your phone. If you subscribe and you go through all instructions on Google. All right. Uh, shout out to Climacool, South Yorkshire Packaging, and South Yorkshire Metals. Peace out.